Jason was glad to be leaving the comforts of the big city for a while. With all that was going on, it was so stressful living downtown, and he wasn't about to say no to having free rent during his summer vacation. Come on Jason, we are getting late. Sorry Isaac, wait a bit please, I am coming. Jason's grandfather had passed away a while back. Jason never really knew the guy, but he left an old cabin in the countryside, in need of someone to look after it. It had running water, electricity, and even a solid broadband connection. It was like little home on the prairie, without all the backwater bullshit to deal with. Jason also invited his best friend, Isaac, to join him, and spend some time with him, in his cabin. Isaac was a tough-looking guy, six foot one inches, with 200 pounds of dense, muscle. He loved saying, he was more than a half foot taller than me, more than twice my weight, more than twice as hung. He worked hard to keep up his macho physique. His six-pack was proof that the 200 pounds was all muscle. He went to the gym every fucking day. Jason wasn't sure how everything had fallen into place as it had. Not only was he getting a place to stay during the summer for free, but he had also managed to score a little extra cheddar on the side by selling a chunk of land in the back corner of his sprawling acreage to one of the major cell service providers. He got some money in the bank and a kick-ass connection out of the deal. It seemed his little abode landed right in the middle of one of the major dead spots that the company was hoping to patch up. Truth be told, Jason didn't actually read any of the paperwork he was asked to sign. All he knew was, he put his name on the paper, the tower went up, and he got paid. He did find it odd that there was form after tedious form to be signed in the presence of not one but three separate lawyers, but he figured that corporations just be like that sometimes. Who cares if it was a new type of cell signal? 3G, 4G, 5G, it was all the same to him. All he cared about was the G's he had in the bank. The first few days were relatively uneventful. Jason and Isaac slept hard and gamed harder. Soon the days started to blur together, without nearby civilization to give him some semblance of the flow of time. One day felt the same as the next. It wasn't until the new cell tower actually went live, and the monotony finally started to break. Jason, come down and look at this. This is not looking good. Wake up, Jason. It's not safe out here. I am not feeling good.